Comfort Doll was created to help people with their problems. Now he's the problem. Buttons the Bear lost a lucrative corporate sponsorship for reasons of moral turpitude. Bill the Ventriloquist Dummy has had 58 partners die in unlikely accidents. Rocco the Dog was a sidekick in a children's TV show until one day he snapped. Prison didn't help. And now in one last desperate stab at rehabilitation, they've been placed in a halfway house. A home for puppets who kill. Hey, who took all the coffee? Dan. <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee. You know, you guys with your petty caffeine addictions, well, you make me laugh. Hey, I kicked heroin, and you're making fun of me for drinking coffee? I was once like you. Oh, yeah. In the grips of a full-blown caffeine addiction. But I've kicked coffee, and I've been off it now for three whole days, and I'm feeling great. Oh, Dan? Hmm? Dash is acting nutty again. Bill, you have mm -hmm. to remember, Dash will be staying with us for a few days, and we mm -hmm. have to treat him like family. So just tell him, hurry the hell up and get going. Well, he's in the living room, and he said he's not moving. We'll see about that. Dash. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be late for your job interview. I changed my mind. I'm not going. It's time you started thinking of that bubble on your head as an advantage rather than a disadvantage. I think today's gonna be your lucky day. <sighs> You're setting me up for failure, Dan. I know it. We leave in 10, okay? Let's go. Ah, <sighs> uh, is that Miss Smith? Miss Smith. Hello, Dan. Hope I'm not disturbing you. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, um... I had a dream about you last night, Dan. Well, that's, that's very flattering. Now, they say that when you dream about someone, you're really visiting them on some other plane of reality. Do you think that's true? I'm sure it is. I dreamt we were necking. You know, on the other hand... Passionately necking, Dan. Really going at it. You were giving me a lot of tongue, as I recall, and I protested, and you said, you like it, just like that. Well, it was just a dream. You just said it might be real on some level. Well, I was making conversation. We were making love. I felt free and lightheaded. Look, I, I gotta be going. <laughs> we had something last night, something rare and special, and you're denying it. Yeah, see you soon. Okay, give him hell. I got a good feeling you're gonna get this job. I'm fragile. I can't take rejection. Need I remind you there was once a little steam engine that didn't think it could do anything, but it kept saying, I think I can, I think I can. Oh, yeah. Did the little steam engine have a giant bubble for a head? Well, no, not, not technically. Well, then, I'm wearing a hat. I guess we're applying for the same job, hmm? Hmm, I guess. Hopefully, they'll have the wisdom to choose the person who'll work hard in the company's interest. I've never worked hard a day in my life. I'm so good looking, everything falls on my lap. <laughs> well, everybody has problems. Not me. People project their hopes and fears onto me. They think just because I'm attractive that I must have all the answers to life. Uh-huh. Congratulations, Mr. Dagger. You got the job. You are now officially a greeter at the big store. Wow, my first job. Welcome to the family. This is the happiest day of my life. At last kind, caring people who can see past my deformity. Well, of course we do. Uh, what deformity? Well, I'm kind of self-conscious about a little imperfection in my head. Mr. Dagger, we don't care about that. We care about who you are on the inside. So, uh, what is it? Uh, a little mole? 
The tiny acne scar? Uh, not exactly. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. Let me see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You don't know what this means to me. I finally conquered my fear of going out in public and not being accepted. <sighs> uh, the job is filled. What? You don't uh, meet our corporate paradigm. This is because I got a bubble in my head, isn't it? Now, don't be ridiculous. You're not going to get away with this. I want to see your boss. Who drank all the coffee? Ah, uh, Dan, it's good to see you like this. The demon coffee really has you in its grip. I'm on a natural high. I get my kicks from sunshine and life. <laughs> You're confused, Dan. Life is a downer. You know, when I was helping Dash to look for a job today, that was a bigger high than any trip you could ever have on coffee. Face it, you got a cappuccino monkey on your back. And it's only a matter of time before it bites you in the ass. <laughs> My sincere apologies to you, Mr. Tagger. We at the big store like to consider ourselves a, an equal opportunity employer. Never in my life have I been treated so shabbily. And we're gonna make that up to you. We have a wonderful job set aside for you in our warehouse. Warehouse? Yes, working alone with robots. Highly challenging. Away from the uh, distraction of other humans. But I wanna be a greeter. Nonsense, you are far too good to be a greeter. This is discrimination. I'm gonna take this to the highest court in the land. Well, have it your way, but we have expensive lawyers and frankly, you can't touch us. But... And then he said it would be a frosty day in hell before I became a greeter. Oh, that's outrageous. I'm a victim. These people sicken me. How can they be so shallow? Just because you have a bubble on your head, that is no way to treat you. What can I do? What anyone else does in this country, sue their asses off, make them pay. What good will that do? When it's all over, I'll still be ugly and jobless. Oh, then we hit them where it hurts the most. Right. <laughs> uh, where's that, Dan? <laughs> horrible victim of human rights abuses. How can we allow this to go on in our society? This has been a big misunderstanding. We're all very happy to have Mr. Dagger here as a valued employee. In fact, he's working as a greeter now. In hell, let me tell you. I thought those guys would never hire me back. No, no, nothing that a few well-placed calls to the media won't cure. Dan, you are the master of media manipulation. I know a few tricks. You kick up a bit of dust, they fall right in line. Thanks for getting me my job back. No problem. In fact, I don't think you're gonna have any trouble with these people anymore. Welcome to the big store. Never buy retail. Hey, it's the new greeter. Congratulations. We totally relate to your struggle. Really? Don't think we haven't tasted rejection. We have, big time. Like once, I wasn't invited to a party. Oh, I was totally humiliated. I once had a piece of spinach stuck in my tooth and nobody even told me. God, it was so humiliating. I once got dragged behind a truck. Uh, Gotta go, goodbye. You have no idea what I'm going through, you vacuous idiots! Wow, what an attitude. See, that's what happens when we're nice to ugly people. Now that I'm in, I'm gonna show you how a real greeter works. Knock yourself out. When I'm done, you're gonna look silly. <laughs> Whatever. I may be ugly, but I'll work harder, smarter, and be more charming. If I put half an effort into what I do, I can get someone to lick dog shit off my shoe. Um, can you tell me where auto parts is? Yes, I'll be with you in a minute. I know where it is. I can wait. Uh, I'm looking for uh, shock absorbers. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Auto parts, aisle six. I'm going there right now. It's okay. 
I have a mechanic's license. I'll take you there. But I'm warning you, I have a contagious disease. I'll risk it. OK. But. But. Just as I feared. Dash is a total liability. He's scaring away customers. What can we do? We had to hire him. We gotta do something about this guy because he's gonna bring us down. What do you mean? I think you know what I'm saying. There are ways of taking care of meddlesome employees. Hmm. Time for another unlikely accident in the cosmetics section? Listen to us. Listen to us. Here we are talking about killing an employee just because he has a bubble head and he's destroying our business. How shallow are we? Oh, what would Jesus do? Well, he certainly wouldn't be thinking about killing a disciple. No, not at all. And who are we to say what's beautiful anyway? We don't know what beautiful is. I mean, it's an elusive concept. I mean, I mean, a hundred years ago, a giant ass was beautiful. Yes. It denoted exceptional childbearing qualities. I still think a giant ass is beautiful. So why should I let society tell me what to think, what to believe? Maybe it'll be found in the future that it's a genetic advantage to have a huge, ugly air bubble in your head. So who are we? Who are we to knock this guy? Huh? Who are we to, to try and bring him down? Totally unfair. Just because he's killing our business and threatening some jobs. So we're in agreement? We gotta ice this fucker. Mmm, <laughs> 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 something smells good. We went down the street for coffees. Double lattes, Dan. Oh, no, sorry, you can't make me jealous. I've switched to herbal tea. <laughs> herbal tea? That's like one step removed from drinking boiled water with twigs. <laughs> Actually, herbal tea is quite tasty, and it's good for you. Yeah, well, you know what? When I'm on a good coffee high, I feel drunk with power. Me too. I feel like I could take on the world, then I crash and fall asleep. I dreamt we had sex again last night. You know, Miss Smith, uh, about these sex dreams of yours, Freud believed that the characters who populate our dreams are actually different aspects of our own personalities. Oh, so I was sodomizing myself. Well, Freud didn't cover that part. You stood me up. What? In the dream. We made wild animal love and then you stood me up. It wasn't me. It sure looked like you. It was a dream. Your smug expression, I could still see it. You didn't give a shit that you kept me waiting in a movie house for an hour. These are your dreams and fantasies. They have nothing to do with me. How could you do that after we made love? Debaucher! Please be quiet. You use me for sex, and then you throw me away like an old rag. You know, people are probably listening. They'll think we really did this. Well, maybe we did. Right. Thanks. OK, it's all set. A forklift is going to back over him later today. Bye-bye. End of problem. So long, Dash. Well, I'm glad I caught you in time. Cancel the forklift. But we agreed to get rid of him. Our phone board is flooded with calls congratulating us on hiring such an ugly man. <sighs> I mean, the newspapers, they're all over this story. But Dash is a nightmare. He's vicious, vitriolic, and vindictive. Which makes us look fair, decent, ready to stand up for the little guy. <sighs> you mean we're going to exploit this? Oh. You bet. This is a gold mine. Think of the publicity. Too bad. Made a nice, ironic way for him to die. Crushed by a pallet of Barbie dolls. Look, Dash is a celebrity. Our sales are through the roof. From now on, we're the progressive company with a heart. You can't be serious. Oh, I've never been more serious in my life. 
From this day forward, I want you to hire only ugly people. What? Now get the good looking people out of here. No, what do you mean you're my boss? Sorry, sister. That's the way it goes. The old order is finished. No, this can't be happening. Oh, it is. I'm the head greeter. I've leapfrogged over you at your petty bourgeois values. But how can you? You're ugly. <laughs> well, you forgot one thing. Beauty wins over ugly, but fame on TV wins over beauty. No, this is like a bad dream. That's not your fault. You just forgot how shallow society is. Damn you! <laughs> See you later, sister! In a stunning turnaround, stores across the city are hiring ugly people. That's right, ugly is in, beauty is out. Wow. Who would have thought? It's all because of a fellow named Dash Dagger, a man with a bubble on his head, but a will of steel. I owe it all to Dan Barlow, my social worker, a man who stands up against wrongdoing wherever he sees it. Another victory for the little guy? Yep. You know, this was almost all too easy. We've started a social revolution across the city. What did I tell you about the little engine that could? Dan, how can I thank you? What can I say? It's been quite a week. I kicked coffee and changed the status quo in the city. <laughs> all in a day's work. Yes, that's right. My life has turned around, and I owe it all to my friend Dan at the halfway house. We've His been fucked over. The most Oh my god. No more attention. This is like one of the signs of the apocalypse. What are we gonna do? The whole world is turned against us. All of the stress is giving me acne. We've gotta think of something. I know. What if we weren't attractive? You can't just make yourself ugly, you moron. It doesn't work that way. Why not? Because ugly is like a state of mind. It goes deeper than just appearance. It's like a scar, a wound. You can't manufacture that shit. Oh. We can't let this guy fuck us over. So what are we gonna do? We get even. How are we gonna do that? We're attractive. We're not supposed to be nasty. We start with Dan Barlow. I, I don't think we can talk anymore because last time things got <laughs> a little out of hand. But I keep dreaming about you, Dan. I tell you, it must mean something. Not another sex dream. No. Oh, good. I mean, I mean, not that that's necessarily a bad thing to have sex with. You robbed a 7-Eleven. What? You came to me, begging me to take you in. Like a sniveling little coward, you repulsed me. But then your hunted look made me see your vulnerability. And I took you in and brushed off your wings. You, you know, Miss Smith, that, that's a nice story, but you know, just, just think about it. Not only did I never rob a 7-Eleven, I, I don't have any wings. I feel so silly. There, there. It's okay. I had this whole fantasy world built up. I, I think too much and I, I feel too much. And I projected it all on you and you did nothing. Well, we, we all make mistakes, but now you can see that it was all in your mind and that I'm a fine, upstanding citizen. At some point you might want to go shout that out to the neighborhood. Dan. <laughs> nice try, Bill. What kind of weak-minded sap do you think I am? I gave that up five days ago. It's Turkish dark roast. Delicious. It's like drinking tar. And your colon loves it, too. Yeah, well, maybe you need that kind of crutch in your life, Bill, but I prefer drinking my herbal cranberry-flavored water. Hey, Dan, there's something on the news that might interest you. Jay's not doing well, or something with the raptors? Or... Not exactly. Beautiful people in a spontaneous act of rebellion are on the rampage, trashing the downtown core. They are protesting the hiring of ugly people. Dear God, it's so senseless, so violent. Do they ever look good when they're pissed off? So sexy and connected. 
We aren't taking this discrimination anymore. And it's all thanks to some ass, Dan Barlow. Oh my God. Well, you're a lucky man, Dan. Not every guy gets to see his likeness on the news. They're torching a dummy of me. They sure look good doing it, though. They look hot, man. I love how her blonde hair blows in the wind as she burns you in effigy. Oh, good old Dan. The man who brought down beauty. <laughs> well, that was surreal. Like watching a nightmare. Coffee, Dan? Well, maybe just a taste. Dan! An angry mob of beautiful women is coming up the street screaming for your head. Shall I get the door? Um, uh, uh, I, uh, 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 Quick, out the back. Out the back. Dan! Remember in your dream when he had the compassion to take me in and hide me? I'm asking you to do that for me now. This is just like I dreamt it. I was right. My dreams are real. Yes, you, you were right. I, I was wrong. Now, um, could you decide quickly? I'm, I'm in a real hurry. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, no! I'm sick of your lies, your deception. I'm sick of covering for a criminal. Yeah, can we talk with this inside? No! But, uh, in your dream, you were so nice to me. You took me right in. And you repaid me by treating me like shit. No, no, that was the, the dream, Dan. The real Dan is nothing like that. The real... Hit the road, fucker! Come and get him, girls! Fucking smug off your face, Mrs. Ah, oh, is that Mrs. Mrs.